Ladies and gentlemen, I give you local estuary. Local estuary. <laughs> estuary. <laughs> yes, we are here. We are at a local estuary. Say hello to the wingman. Hello, guys. And say hello, Nathan, around the corner. Hey, guys. Yes, we're out with Brett's lad. And we're out on the bass and maybe gilthead bream. So, yeah, we've got some lugworms, some crabs, and rag. And yes, we are up the, the local estuary. It's just flooding in, look. 5.6 tide, mahoosive tide, big fish, eight pound bass, five pound gilts, maybe a thin lit mullet. Mm. Yes, I have bought a spinner. Yeah, so we're just here and we're gonna give it a go and uh, yeah, see what happens. So bait wise, uh, well, reef wise, look. So on this one, I just made this up last night. So I've got a little, uh, Twirly, twirly. A little holographic blade on there, just to attract any anything uh, you know flat, shall we say? And uh, running pat. So that's the running pat there. It's a it's a reverse running ledger, would you believe? Look, just like that, a reverse running ledger. The weight goes up first, and this definitely gathers less weed, as you've seen in all my videos. So yeah, good luck, good luck. Welcome along. I'm the Bass Man. Thanks for tuning in. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And sit back, enjoy the show. Yeah, mate, you're on. Very yeah, steady bite. That's it. That's it. Ah, all right, man. Ah. What to learn? Well, at least I'm blanked. Well, mate, I'm a bit ashamed for that, but yeah, there is still a fish though, mate. Micro bass. Micro bass. Yeah, they come up first. Yeah. Yeah, but look, he's just cast out. There's the weed on the two swivels. And there's the fishy. Here we are, all set up, fired out. Nice short cast to avoid the main tidal surge. And let me tell you, folks, this big rock here has got a nice deep pit in front of it. So I'm guessing that uh, big fish come in there, looking for crab. Hey, right. Yeah. Here we are, just a nice little schoolie or something on here, look. Hey. Yeah, you see him flanking in the water down there, mate. Yeah. He's grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Another micro. Size of that. Yeah. Fell for my spinner blade there. Yes, mate. I think he. Uh, he liked the pink. Love. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> He's making a spin. Look. Massive. Catching all the monsters here, guys. We got there, mate. Micro. But look, there's another method. I haven't bothered with a bubble float or anything. So, sort of thin-lip mullet tactics. Oh yeah. So what I've got there is, and I'll just take this monster off here a minute. A nice little Isima hook. Look at him, look. Puffed right up, Puffing mate. Him out, look. That looks, he looks right miserable. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he's smiling away there, mate. <laughs> right, let's just put this little chat back for a minute. Just there. Blue. There he goes. Yeah, so on the business end here, I've got some chod line, what carp fishermen use. And it's, it's 20 pound carp line or whatever, but it goes really straight. So if you pull this, if you pull this tight without the worm on, it will actually just stay straight. Hang on, I'll show you that. This is really good. And this is why it's really good. So look, we just sort of make it not straight, yeah? So it's like that. And if you get a good pull, really with a hook pull up, like that. They're doing. They're doing, there you go. It's erect, isn't it? <laughs> well, that way, yeah? That's why they call it a stiff link. That's it, it's a chod stiff link, stiffy link. Yeah, so I, I like that for that fact, so it obviously keeps it nice and straight, doesn't it? And it's an easy method, you just chuck it out and really slowly, and that obviously that spins like a, a good one. And yeah, I'll just watch that bass come up and swipe at it twice and Yeah, but don't forget, I caught a very big bass. Using that method. On this method a few eight years pound. ago. Eight pound eight. Third cast. Yeah, so yeah, you never know, you just never know. Then they're not all going to be that size today. No chance. Loads of mullet going through here. Lots of splashing going on. 
They're right in front of me here. Loads here, mate. Yeah. I've not spooked either. Oh, right on the surface, that one. There's a nice thin lip right there. Right in front of you, on the surface. There's two. It's about two and a half pounds. He's just coming around again. See the big one? He's just coming past you now. Right in here, mate. Just over that weed line. Oh, I just see one cruising up. There's two cruising over up there. Over there, yeah. there's the big one there, yeah. up there. Yeah, really nice to see that. Well camouflaged, mate. Yeah, grey ghosts. Here we are, right down there. Now these tiddlers are loving my little rig. My little bling rig. <laughs> So here we are, not doing great to be honest, we've had half a dozen micro bass uh, just getting stripped by the crabs so we've put a pop up on one rod and I'm just going to back to change to Mr. Crab. Nice one there, just ready to peel, well just about peeling it was, coming out of its shell. Yes. See if that works. So yes, we're, we're um, running out of room here. It's a massive tide. Nathan's around the corner and I have just lit the fuse. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like you're going to do a Superman change in a minute, mate, I think. <laughs> Go on, let's do it again. I shall call you Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> Come in. What bird is it? Puzzle or a castle? Is it? <laughs> nice. There you go, my beauty. Yes. On the pop-up flounder bass rig.
Mate, they just need to be a little bit bigger, though. Yeah, they? they're a bit, they're tiny. I don't know what's going on. I was expecting a couple of pound at least. But yeah, this, the crabs are an absolute nightmare. So the pop up works, doesn't it? Yes, mate. There you go. Well done. Available on my shop. <laughs> Fishingguysdevon.co.uk forward slash shop. Oh, yes. Yeah, mate. shoot off like a rocket. I know, very docile. Can only just make it out, it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan doing a bit of gardening, taking out some trees. Yeah. Well mate, we're um in it to win it mate, I think's the word. Isn't Fifteen it? minutes to high and uh yeah, what we've had is little micros. Got my little bait station there, mate. Oh, yeah. We are running out of room. Might have to get the waders on again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, jolly nice to be out with you, sir. Jolly nice too as well, mate. Yeah, lovely spot. But uh, the tide's a bit big, really. And the crabs are a pain. The crabs. <sighs> Yeah, so I've had me Red Bull, I'm all raring to go, man. Oh, lovely day, though. Hmm. Did it look, look a bit suspicious, mate? Got it, mate. Have you? Yeah. Hoorah. Oh, has it just come off or what? Oh, you're joking. Oh, short as a gilt head as well, mate, where it was going. Oh well. Was that on, on was that on a pop-up, sir? No, it was on crab. I just stuck a crab out. Unless it's a tiny little thing. No, it's come off. That was a gill head. Guaranteed. <sighs> right, I'll be I'll catch it in five minutes. That was a nice little bang. You getting bites as well? Don't know whether it's a crab or not. It's the doing. This isn't a crab. That's because you've got crabs, mate. Oh no! Just ran into the snag. Oh. After all that. Adam and Eve it. Got it. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. So close, he followed that. Come on, any minute. Come on. Give it another little tease. He's done me again, I think. <laughs> what are we saying, mate? I'm saying that that was probably a gilt edge, look. And he's done me. I can't get any closer. So that's my crab. Mm. Never mind. And those mysterious bites again on worm this time. It's got to be small gilt heads. Random swimmer. Another little bite there. Tide's on its way out now. Thank God.
Megan's having a pit stop. Is that Cookie? Cookie Monster. Uh, cookie. Cheddars. Mm -hmm. Do you want a nice apple to go with that? No. You sure? I've got one. Do you want to see it? No. Here you go, mate. No, mate, I'll start. <laughs> you keep your apple. You, you keep your apple, mate. I'll keep the cheddars, mate. <laughs> Is it a good one? Nothing. Here we go. Two in three casts. I'm just giving Brett the rod because I wasn't catching anything out my way. Another little micro bass. I can't believe the size of the fish today is like jo on, it's a joke. Bring him in front, mate. I can't see him. <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> in here over the rock. <laughs> Still can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a day. Mm. Yeah. Hard work, mate. Yeah. Hard work for that. Still beautiful in miniature though, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Boom. Rod up, mate, over that reef. Oh, is he? Another microbial. Wow. Are we the minnow squad or what? Right. The minnow, well, basically guys and girls, you can't catch what's not there, can you? As much as we like to say, yeah. that was just, I don't know. <laughs> Nathan looks like he's had enough. I've just batted enough. Lovely evening. One more cast. Ah, keep going, mate. So, Wingman's dug some really nice worm yesterday. And once you've gone black, you're never going back. Check that out, son. That's a lug in it? Yep. <laughs> oh. Size of them? Big. Yeah, we've only got a couple left. Oh, well. One last cast, one for luck. Yep. Well, there we are, guys. That's about it from us today. Uh, yes, yeah, it's micro bass session, wasn't it? Yes, mate. Yeah, really bizarre. I did have, I did have two really good chances of gilthead bream just at high tide. Rod pulled around in my hand like a few times, kept missing it. Had a few chances at it, and they just drifted off and went. It was definitely a gilt head. I know that because I've had several down the other end. And yes, we've tried our best, guys, and we have failed. <laughs> well, we haven't failed, but we've caught loads of little bass. Lo we? Loads of little bass, mate. Well, something like that. It's no good, is it? Ah, uh, mate. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. We can't win them all. We can't catch the, what's not there. Uh, we've done our bit. We've got the best bait, lug, crab. We know what we're doing. Uh, but yes, this is a new spot, and it was a bit of um, exploratory today, wasn't it? Yes, mate. So we'll be coming back here on a smaller tide because it was too big today and we might just come here at high tide and fish it out i think it could be a better back tide mark so anyway thank you for tuning in and i was looking at my demographics on my youtube from where you're all watching from and everything and yeah i've noticed all the different countries and america so hello hello to all you across the pond y'all across the pond from america i've got like i don't know eight percent of my Thing from America which was really interesting so on that note you know where are where are you coming from guys where are you from in the world so let me know in comments It'd be nice to hear from you yeah yes we're, we're down in sunny Devon we're down right down the bottom of the UK next so, to Cornwall yeah next to Cornwall <laughs> and before Bristol <laughs> but yeah where where are you from guys uh, what do you like fishing for and if you are in, in America what do you fish for you know just let us know yeah and yeah we'll see you again soon 
Uh, I'm off to Lanzarote for a week on Sunday, so I'll uh, I'll probably catch you when I come back, guys. Yeah. Don't forget to hit hit the like and su su subscribe button. Please hit subscribe, guys. It won't always be this dull. And it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost a penny. Just hit subscribe. You get all my stuff. And yeah, and the short videos. Um, I'm sorry if you don't like the shorts, but it's something I have to do because it does actually work. And I've 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 actually had some help on that. And yes, it's you get lots of subscribers from the shorts. So I'm sorry if you don't like them, but I've got to do that. The same as I've got to do my rigs, sell my rigs online. It's the only thing keeping me afloat at the moment, guys, that and the guiding. So yeah, um, check out my rig shop if you haven't already, and we'll see you soon. Tight lines. Hi.